take it as a blessing. You you hot since you lit, okay? back again with another video and as I told you guys last time in the beginning of each video moving forward I am going to be saying like a scripture or a quote just for motivational purposes for those people who are feeling down or just need to hear something positive I want to push that back into you push that back into the universe all the positivity because we definitely need it right now trust me so without further ado here is today's quote um, the name of the quote is Note to Self, and it says, You can't control how other people receive your energy. Anything you do or say gets filtered through the lens at whatever personal things they are going through at the moment, which is not about you. Just keep doing your thing with as much integrity and love as possible. And that quote came from positivity, positivity.com. Okay, that really just spoke some numbers to me, y'all. Let me tell y'all, people will look at you funny, have so many things negative to say about you because you're living your life and you're doing what you want to do. But remember, it's not about you, boo. It's not even about you. It's about the life they're not having. It's about the fun they're not having. That is why they're looking at you funny because they wish they were you, boo. So don't even, don't even trip. You're going to be okay. Just keep living your life with as much integrity and love as possible, okay? All right, so that was today's quote. But now we're gonna get into something a little bit more interesting. Today's video is three reasons why it is important to control your emotions. And let me tell you, I am not one to judge. I am not here to tell you what to do because when it comes to emotions, I am terrible at it. My, I wear my heart on my sleeve. If I'm mad, I am mad. You will know it. If I am sad, you will know it. And if I am happy, you will know it. I show every emotion. When people do things to me, I am hurt by it. So it's like one of those things that I thought was a good topic to kind of talk about. Because I know I'm not the only one. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of us that do not know how to control their emotions. Okay? So... I'm not telling you how to control them. I'm just going to tell you three reasons why it is important to control them. Because I know it's hard sometimes. Even if you try to not care about something, you'll say, I don't care. I don't care. You can tell yourself 10 times. But deep down inside, you really do care. So you're like thinking about it. It's running you crazy. But you're just not saying it. So I definitely get it. This video is just going to tell you three reasons why it is so important to just try to control the emotion. Don't never let nobody see you sweat. So without further ado... Here is reason number one. Reason number one is people will let you down. You got to control those emotions because people are going to let you down. Like you can't be sad or upset when people do not do things in your favor, even if you would do it for them. Like that's the number one thing I think that I deal with. I might do something for somebody and I always expect them to do it like in return. Like if I take you to 10 buck two during your time of need, when I need it, I need for you to ride and take me to 10 buck two. But that doesn't happen all the time. You don't have people. You could give somebody to shut off your back. That don't mean they're going to give you to shut off their back. So that's something that I had to learn and I'm still learning. I've done been let down so many times that... Every letdown is not a loss. It's a lesson. I'm learning from every experience that I'm going through. I have a friend that back in the day, I used to go to her like crying about all type of stuff. This person said this about me. This person did this to me. This person said this about me. Like just little things. And she just to be like, and I'll be like, oh, I, I did this for them. I looked out. I did that. And she was just like, girl. You can't expect people to be real like you. You can't expect people to move like you. You can't expect people to give that shirt off their back just because you gave the shirt off your back. People are different. You can't expect anything from anybody. And I took that with me. Like, I held on to that because she was right. She was just like, you know, if I choose to have people in my life, I just, I don't trust them as far as I could throw them. And I'm just like, you know what? That makes sense. Like, click, click. That makes a lot of sense. Why didn't I think of that? But, again, still being an emotional person, 
as time goes on, like I still, stuff still does affect me. So even though I keep that in the back of my brain, what she said to me helps me get over it fast, but I still do get upset or I get sad. So I'm still working on controlling my emotions. It's just one of those things like if someone's going to let you down, don't even gear yourself up to have any thoughts about it. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like you got to walk into a relationship expecting these people to let you down. Because it's like at the end of the day, now you're all sad. Now you're all mad. Like it's taking the positivity out of you. It's bringing the negativity out of you. So that's why I said live your life don't expect anything from anybody and if you need something done just do it yourself okay keep your emotions out that shit because at the end of the day you're gonna either like i said you're gonna hang around those people still even after they doing that stuff to you or you're not gonna hang around those people still it's one of those situations so it's like no, there's no reason to get emotional about it. If you're still going to hang out with them, don't get emotional about it. Just know what to expect from these people and keep it chugging. If you're going to get away from them, keep those emotions to yourself and get away from them and be done. Set boundaries. You don't got to explain why you ain't messing with anybody anymore. You know the reason. They know the reason. But when it's all said and done and blown up out of proportion, nobody knows the reason. You're tripping. So at the end of the day, keep those emotions inside and do what's best for you okay so that's reason number one reason number two and you guys know i'm a big writer i have to write things down reason number two they will take advantage of you okay when you have like high emotions and you show your emotions people will take advantage of you story i had a friend um she has a daughter that's sick so normally like she could get around, take her daughter to her appointments and stuff like that. One day, she couldn't do it, right? So she calls me late at night, right? I get myself together. Late at night now, I had to go to work the next morning. Pick, get myself together, get in my car, pick her up, take her where she needs to go, right? No problem. You my girl. I got you, okay? <laughs> now, I needed something done. Same scenario, kids sick. You know, her car back on the road. Something was going on with mine. Hey, you know, my kid needs to go to this doctor appointment. You know, you think you could just run me over there? Mind you, she's not working. She's not doing anything. She has nothing to do. She just didn't want to do it. And she flat out told me that. She, no. And I'm just like, here I am. Like, damn, like her kid is sick. Like, I feel so bad. Like, I got to take her. I got to take her. Even though... I got to go to work in the next few hours. I got to take her. Got my emotions all involved. You got to take your emotions out of this stuff. I'm telling you. You keep your emotions in it. You start feeling bad for people. And you feel obligated to help people. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Okay? You don't got to do anything you don't want to do. Just like she didn't have to take me, take my kids to the doctor. I didn't have to take her and her kids to the doctor. I had my emotions wrapped up. So it was like one of those things like, I know I got to be to work, but I'm going to look out. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to not get no sleep and I'm just going to get up and go to work and just go on about my day. Even though I'm about to be tired and I got children of my own, I'm just going to do it anyway because I feel bad. She don't got a car. She don't got no way to get over there. I feel bad. But look what that got me. It's not vice versa. So at the end of the day, it's like take your emotions up out of this. You don't got to help nobody. You don't. I've always been the help of looking out. You need something, I got you. You want me to do something, I got you. And I always get the short end of the stick. Always, y'all. Always. So, now I just, I'm learning to set boundaries with my friends and family and just anybody. Associates. I'm learning to set boundaries. Because if you don't, people will take advantage of that niceness. They just know. Let me call her because she real. She going to do it. How you know? Maybe I don't feel like it that day. That's how I feel. Maybe I don't feel like it that day. Because I know you wouldn't do it for me. Start being able to weed out those people that you know ain't going to do stuff for you. And it's not about wanting stuff in return all the time. You don't do things for people to expect something back. But if I always help you and not always look out for you, I expect you to be a friend and look out for me. I expect that. And maybe I'm wrong. Tell me. Maybe I'm wrong. But I go into these, these relationships now at zero. You don't get 100%. I don't start you at 100. I know they say stop people at 100. No, I'm starting you at zero. You have to 
let you have to gain my friendship at this point because I know I'll do anything for the people that I love. I'll do anything for you. But throughout these years, it has not been the same for me and my emotions have just been played with. So now I'm to the point where I love you, but you got to check up them deuces. Nah, I can't do it. Can't do it. Until I see you want, you want to move mountains for me, but you want me to move mountains for you. Until I see you do the same for me, I'm good. I don't want it, okay? So that's reason number two. People will people will take advantage of your kindness and your niceness. So control those emotions. Control them. You got to take your compassion out of that. Take it out of there. Oh, she don't. She can't get somewhere. If you busy, you're busy. Can't help. Cause they gonna take it like you take her one place. She gonna call you again. Ask you again. You lend it twenty dollars. She gonna call you again. Ask you again. Like no, we're not doing that. Take your emotions up out of it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody grown. Everybody grown. Everybody can work. Everybody can buy cars. Everybody could do all type of things. It's not your job to take care of another adult. Okay, remember that. Whew, that 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 one right there just got me hot a little bit. Okay, let's move on. Reason number three, it causes stress. Okay, it is stressful when you're so emotional. Like people do things to you, and you're just like your emotions are up and down. Like I've been depressed about certain scenarios, certain scenarios happening to me before. Like full blown depressed, sad, in the bed, feeling like I'm not worthy or I don't deserve anything or I'm not beautiful. Like I've been through it, okay? So at the end of the day, it just caused so much stress in my life. I had a friend, I'm gonna tell y'all a quick story. I had a friend who was very promiscuous, okay? She's promiscuous, that's just the word I'm going to use. People would say stuff about her all the time. And it never bothered her, y'all. I swear. Like, she just had so much confidence. Like, it just, she was comfortable in her own skin. So what? She's promiscuous. I'm doing what makes me happy. That's just how, that's the attitude and persona that she gave off. And I used to admire the heck out of that. Because I wasn't like that. Like, I would let everything bother me. You say something about me, bother me. I'm sad. You talk trash about me gonna bother me that's why that quote that i said in the beginning really was a good one for this video be yourself be who you are do not let anybody stress you out okay keep those emotions to yourself control them you can't let nobody dictate how you feel you can't let me tell you you let somebody dictate how you feel you're not gonna live your best life you're not gonna live your best life I'm living my best life. I ain't going back and forth with you. I'm living my best life. I ain't going back and forth with you. I don't own the rights to that song. Just got to say that, YouTube. Please do not block me singing that out, okay? But no, do not allow anybody to dictate anything. Live your best life. Do what you want to do. What's best for you. People got something to say about you? So what? People talk trash about you? So what? Your family don't like you? So what? Your friends talking shit about you? Because let me tell you something. Them friends, they are not your friends in real life, sis, okay? They'll smile in your face. They'll y'all be twerking at the club, doing all that extra stuff together. And then they going right in their little, small little group that they got. Every friend, every friend, click of friends got small individual groups amongst themselves as well. And they're not doing nothing but talking about you. Trust me, I've been there, done that, okay? I've been there, done that. And my emotions was always toyed with. But guess what? Every situation that I go through makes me a better person, okay? Like, I just had something recently happen. And you know what? I set my boundary. I said, this is what I'm not going to allow. This is what I'm not going to do. And I'm going to remove myself from the situation because it's not good for my health. I want to be happy. I want to tour, travel the world. I want to freaking be in Florida Miami right now, twerking on my balcony on a um, beachfront, ocean view, whatever hotel. Like, I don't want to be going back and forth, okay? And I'm sorry if I got a little off topic, y'all. I just have been having so many things happening over the course of my 31, about to be 32 years of life, okay? So much. So, those are my three reasons why it is important to control your emotions. Don't let nobody see you sweat. Don't let nobody see you down. Don't let anybody think they have that much control over your life. 
Make it so nothing matters. Make it so it doesn't even matter. Oh, you said this? Psh, whatever, girl. You said this? Psh, whatever, boy. It is what it is. It is what it is. People going to talk about you whether you ugly. People going to talk about you whether you pretty. People going to talk about you whether you successful. People going to talk about you whether you broke. People just going to talk about you because that's just human nature. Especially when they don't got nothing going on. Remember that. Those are the ones that talk the most. When they have nothing going on, they envy your life. So instead of taking that as a something to have be all riled up in your emotions about, take it as a blessing. You you hot since you lit. Okay? All right, y'all. So that is my time. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I love you guys. Bye.